Hey, I'm here with the haul, guys. Yes, I haven't did a haul in a while because I've been spending all my money on hair. So, yeah. This is just a, I don't want to say as many. It's just like a lot of little stuff that I went and got. Um, okay. So, I picked up some more black beeswax. This is the beeswax I use when I do my half wigs and what else I use these for? Um, my micros. This is the beeswax I use. This is Murray's Black Beeswax. I only use Murray's because it's the stiffest and it just, see? It's like the stiffest beeswax ever. I love this stuff. This was like $2.49 from the hair store. And it just slicks down everything if you're natural. Murray's Beeswax. I got a weaving cap. This is the weaving cap I use all the time. Y'all know. I'm doing somebody here and she didn't have a cap, man. I only do sewings with weaving caps because it's just, y'all know why. I just like using them. 199 I picked up some of this Kiss Glue Off. I'll let y'all know how this is. As you see, my nails came off. I popped them things off so quick. They stayed on my hand for like, I swear, it was like four days, I think. I had them things on. Three, I'd say three and a half. See, they're right here. It was so hard trying to get these things off. I don't know if it's because I super, super glued them. Like, I glued the top, and then I glued the bottom. But them things stay on. I see how it can last. Somebody said it lasts uh, her sister, too. I see, because them things was not coming off. Like, I swear back in the day, them things used to pop off in class, all the left and right. But now they just stick, like, for real, for real. So, I bought some of this Kiss um, Fast and Thorough um, Glue Off Removal Tips and Wraps. So, we'll see how this works. It's for tips, like, nail tips and wraps. But, um, it's basically a nail tip because you will put the tip on your tip. But it's, instead, it's on your whole finger. So, I just went ahead and bought that. I'm not sure the price. It had to be, like, less than $3, so. I bought some nail glue. This is Maximum Speed. Number one selling glue. Love this glue. It's so strong that it can, like, glue on household products. Yes, I love this glue. And it's not even a glue I used last time. So, imagine how well this going to stick to my hands, these nails, when I use that glue. And went to another hair store and I picked up these earrings, y'all. Oh my god, look at these. Do you see these earrings? These are the ish. Like, pesto earrings. I've been looking for earrings like this for like ever. I kept going to Body Central, going to Wet Seal, Charlotte Rouge. Nope. Went to the hair store, got these for $1.99 and found them. Like, I've been looking for them earrings everywhere. I also got these, too. I've been looking for these everywhere, too. These platinum, I call them disco ball earrings. See, I love these freaking earrings. You know I like big earrings. They big as I don't know what and shiny. A dollar from the hair store. Yes. And I got me a gold pair. They're like a design type. I love these earrings. I'm actually take this one out so y'all can see what I'm talking about. I mean, I've been looking for these everywhere. So cute. And I put nail polish on these too. Yeah, I put nail polish on everything. All my little fake jewelry. So, that's that. And then I bought some more Kiss nails. I love these things. Like, I actually got compliments on these nails. Yes. And then I moved my hand so quick, so they couldn't be like, oh, yeah, those on Walmart. No, I just moved my hand like, thanks. Moved it. So they couldn't stare at it and then go to Walmart and be like, hey, there was press-ons. But yeah, I got some more. And these are medium lens. I couldn't deal with them long ones, y'all. Like, oh my God, I don't know why. I'm trying to be grown with them long nails on. I couldn't use my phone. I got a new phone. Couldn't even touch it. It's a touch screen. You know, people ask for my number. I couldn't put it in the phone. Nothing. I couldn't even, like, do shipment at work because it was, like, so long. So I bought these. They're really, really cute. Really cute. And I'll probably do a video on these because I'm going to um, design them myself also. I also have some regular kiss nail French tips that I'm going to design myself. And I'll do a video on it. But this is, it's so cute. These look so real, y'all. If y'all can see it. And they're medium. Dang, these medium, these long too. But yeah, they're medium. And they're blue and gold. So what I did, I just picked up another, um, this is by Kiss. Some blue, um, 
designer stuff. And I'm just going to go over the blue part. I think it'll look more realistic. And this is, I'm just going to do swatches of the blue. <clears throat> this is the blue right here. You see that? So this was um one ninety nine, and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take this blue, like I said, and I'm gonna go on top of the blueprints on the nail, so it can pop out a little more. I think it'll make it look. They already look realistic, but you know, adding your own paint on top of the nails, I think, would be a good idea for them to actually look like real for real for real salon nails. So that's what I'm gonna do after I do this girl hair, cause I cannot freaking braid like I want to with nails on. I could braid with nails on. But not like I want to. Like, it's just too much work. So, yeah. Then I got a cheap behind. Twinkie. I hate Twinkies. I hate these things. Like, I use them one time and that's it. They're disposable. But when I have, like, my hard cutthroat razors, I can use them things, like, six times. And, you know, this is, like, arch your eyebrows, you're done. But I guess I use it for raising the hair or whatever. So, I got that. The lip gloss I'm wearing is by Ruby Kisses. Nothing special. I just need some lip gloss for work so I can put it in my bra. And then, yeah, because I have to wear lip I wear lip gloss to sleep. Yes. I love lip gloss. And I just got two colors. There's no, like, special thing about them. It's just like a tint. So, uh, if you want to know, this has um, shea butter in it. And it feels really nice. This one's called Hollywood. And this one has shea butter in it and it's called diamonds and pearls diamonds and pearls hollywood nothing special about them they just lip glosses 199 from the hair store and last but not least i want to show you my new half wig yes i'm going right back to the half wigs um only because i want to get this part of break because i've been doing this for like a little minute now and i'm getting bored with them like i really am getting bored so um, I was debating on whether I should take this out tonight or what. Because, y'all, I actually had this in my hair for a little minute. I had it in about a weekend. It'll be two weeks on, what's today? Sunday. It'll be two weeks on Tuesday, I think. No, I lied. It'll be a week. No. Two weeks. It'll be like a week and six days or something. I had this in about two weeks. Yeah, I remember. It wasn't a week. It was about two weeks. Because I always post my videos up late. So I think it was about two weeks since I had this in. It had to be. So anyway, so I got me half wig. And it's by um company called Next. I know they have some, some weaving hair, I think. Like blended human weaving hair. But I didn't know they had half wigs. And this is called... um. HW24 Kiss Me. So it's called Kiss Me. And this is what the tag looks like. And it's just another curly one. Yes. Now, I'm going to show you how this wig is going to look 10 times better than that poodle I had on my hair by Model Model. Watch. Because this is synthetic hair, guys. And just watch. Okay, just watch. Okay. Okay. And this is the number 1B. But this is nowhere near a 1B. If this is a 1B, I don't want to know what the 1 look like. The 1 probably look purple because it's going to be so black. This is a 1B, and I swear it looks like a 1. Like, there's no type of 1B about this at all. This is a 1 in my hair, and it's the same as that color. This look more brown than this dude. So, we going to see how it is, but this is a 1B. And it's called Kiss Me. It has comb in the front, comb in the back. That's my little mini haul, and I'll be back with this halfway video. I don't know if I'm going to take this out tonight after I do the girl hair or what, because I'm getting very, very bored. Like, straight hair is so freaking boring to me. That's why I got, you know, I think that's why I started to transition, because that perm hair, you just wear it down all day. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't I don't get it. So, yeah, I'm going back to my curly wig. So, stay tuned for that, and I'll holler at y'all later. Bye.